everybody welcome back to another episode of the fruit street health podcast if you're new here my name is seth and i'm here with lawrence and some of the finance team at fruit street health and we wanted to show you this side of what's going on in fruit street because uh, the company's been growing but that also means that there's a lot more work on the financial side to do so lawrence talk to us a little bit about what side of the company we're going to see today and why why is this important to talk about yeah, so we'll be uh, introducing you to two of our new uh, finance team members who are helping us complete our audit. One of the uh, things we've been working on is completing our audit so that we can file paperwork with the SEC to raise up to $75 million from the public through what's called a Regulation A plus offering. Um, a Regulation A plus offering basically allows you to raise up to $75 million. Some people call it a mini IPO. You're not actually listed on a stock exchange, but it allows you to raise money from both accredited and non-accredited investors. And so once the audit's complete, um, it'll be you know, a major step towards um, uh, filing for that Regulation A plus offering. And the interesting thing at this time is that the Fruit Street's revenue is really starting to grow as well. We're starting to cover uh, most, of, most of our payroll. And so that means that if we were to raise $75 million, we could do something where, for example, you, know, you could put $50 million towards the company's balance sheet where we're growing the rev revenue and hiring more people. And you could put $25 million towards shareholder liquidity where um, existing investors might be able to you know, sell some of their shares. And I just use $75 million as an example. It might be the case that we just raised 25 or $50 million to start with. But um, basically uh, as part of a Regulation A plus offering, you could earmark say, uh, 75 or 80 percent of the money that you raise into the company's balance sheet and 20 or 25 percent into um, giving some existing shareholders liquidity and so that's what we've been working towards and in order to accelerate that process um, we have expanded the finance and legal team so today um, i'll introduce you to two of the uh, new finance team members and uh, they can just share a little bit about their background and um I'll let Brandy go first and then uh, Brenda to share a little bit about themselves. Hi there, I'm Brandy and I'm new to the team as of like early February. I've got 10 years experience in bookkeeping and um, accounting plus a bachelor's in accounting uh, from SNHU. Great, and Brenda? Um, I am also new to Fruit Street. I started in February as well. Um, I have a degree in paralegal and I've worked in that field for 20 years. I switched over to bookkeeping and I love working at Fruit Street. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I like having you because we now have a full finance department so things are getting you know more organized and um, I know you've been in communication with our accountants at, at, at Goldfine as well and so um, I mean, I guess the good news is that there's enough revenue to actually justify a finance department now. So I'm um, glad to have both of you and I'm sure the investors will be interacting with you as many of them already have. So thanks for joining the company. You're welcome. And everybody's extremely nice and very well to work with. 